Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. So today I am doing your love tarot reading. This one will be for January 2021. Now the way I like to do these readings is I will take a look at the shared energy between you both. We'll take a look at your energy, their energy, and the near future what is coming towards you. Let me go ahead and give these a few shuffles. Let's see what's happening for you this first month of this new year, Gemini. All right, a few more shuffles and we'll get right into it. Now, these are love readings. That doesn't mean that they are romantic, although they often are, but really anybody that you're thinking of, if the reading resonates, then just trust that it is for you. All right, Gemini, a few more shuffles here and we're gonna get right into it. All right, we will stop here. We got justice at the bottom. All right, what is the shared energy between you both? The Nine of Wands, how do they see you? How are they feeling about you? And what action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? And what action would you like to take towards them? Okay. I mean, there is a committed energy right now, but like the nine of wands is the shared energy. This is both of you guys still fighting, but it's taking strength to fight right now for this relationship. You know, that's what the nine of wands is. It's the wounded warrior, right? Um, it's having already been through a lot when it comes to the situation. But still, you know, having the courage to keep fighting for it, even though you're tired, right? Even though you've been through a lot already, but this is both of you still fighting for the situation. And, and both of you have committed energy. I can tell you right off the bat when it comes to, regardless of what's in your heads and what's in your hearts, because that's what these cards really represent. The action here that you're going to both take is that you want to keep working for this. It's committed. Keep fighting, right? That's the energy is I'm going to keep fighting for this. I'm tired. But you know, it means a lot. I'm gonna fight this good fight, right? It's a card of perseverance. That's the shared energy here. How do they see you? They see you as the queen of pentacles here, Gemini. This is very like nurturing. You know, this is the working mom archetype. So this is somebody who really knows how to take care of the people around her with like literally like cooking meals and just nurturing. And like, it's very earthly grounded energy. Um, but it's very dedicated. It's very stable. It's very committed, you know, that's how they see you as the queen of pentacles. How they're feeling right now is the four of cups, right? Four of cups is like discontent, it's unmotivated, it's not excited, you know? Um, the four of cups is also like, for me when I see the four of cups, you see they're not motivated, but there's a cup from the clouds trying to offer something. And you know, this person's neither saying yes, they're not saying no, but you know, and they're looking at what's in front of them and they're not being excited. Obviously, that's why it takes perseverance, right? Because if you were excited, you'd, you'd be excited to get up and keep going. It wouldn't even feel like you're fighting, right? And so that's how they're feeling right now. But with the Four of Cups, I do always like to feel like sometimes people just aren't seeing what's right in front of them. And we all go through that. That's just the energy that's present this month. But the action that they would like to take towards you, boom, Knight of Pentacles. This is literally making progress. This is literally putting in the work. It's very committed. It's very dedicated energy. It's very, um, can be inflexible. It's very traditional as well. You know, that's the kind of energy. But the Knight of Pentacles, even though it's the slowest moving night, whatever they built is built to last. And that's what's really great about the Knight of Pentacles. All right, how do you see them? We got the Emperor here. Maybe, I mean, maybe you see them as an authority for some of you. You know, the Emperor is like a father figure. Um, but the Emperor is just like, like a boss, right? Like they got rules, they got regulations, they have structure, they have order, they're conquering energy, you know, um, it's never vulnerable. Maybe they don't show their emotions, you know, they're not too open with their emotions, just like the emperor. The emotions are there. They just don't try to show vulnerability, right? That's the emperor. They're a card of like rules and law and, you know, it's that kind of energy. That's how they have the structure that they have. That's how they're able to have an empire. But it's definitely a card of authority and structure, absolutely, and no vulnerability, right? He sits on, I don't know what that is, but it's like an iron throne. It's like something like that, right? All right, how you're feeling about them? We got the high priestess. You're using your intuition. You're going deep within, definitely. Deep, deep within, deep feeling energy here, Gemini, with the high priestess. And then the action that you like to take towards them is also a very hard work and energy. So it's kind of mirrored and it's shared between you both here at Gemini. The Eight of Pentacles. This is like, if things aren't going right, this is you ready to like put in the work, to focus on those details, to get it right and to perfect it. But it's committed and it's hard working. And what I love about the Eight of Pentacles is 
It also is an energy of making short-term sacrifices for long-term gains and goals. Beautiful. Um, all right, let's go ahead and clarify this. Oh, let's pull another card. I'm so sorry for what is coming toward you. Let me get one more card. Um, let me get one more card. Let me give these a shuffle here. What is coming towards Gemini when it comes to the situation in January? Oh, the hangman wanted to come out, but... All right. All right, we are going to take you. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Transition. Moving on to calmer waters. Definitely transition. All right. Now, let's see. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands. This is the shared energy and the situation between you both this month. Oof. At the bottom, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Wands for you, Gemini. Yeah, but this is both of you still fighting. Tired, definitely, on both parts. Um, on both parts. All right, we'll see. What is this one? Yeah, Ten of Wands is here. Tired on both parts. Let's see what else fell out here. Temperance is here. Beautiful. Yeah, you're fighting. This is being patient as well with the situation with temperance being here. There's a patience on both your parts. That's why you're still fighting. It's like, I think a lot of you, it could just be even in January, a lot of you can have a lot of responsibility this month. There's just a lot to take care of and that could just be weighing on the relationship. You know, the 10 of wands, luckily, is you can literally see the end in sight and that can help you guys fight this as well. Um, nothing feels majorly heavy. It just can be like overcome with responsibilities and burdens this month, right? And that could just be putting a dent on the relationship a little bit. Just not a dent. It's just, it could just be taking away from the passion and the fun this month. Um, but temperance is here. Both of you guys are just like no extremes. I love it. You guys are both fighting Gemini. And temperance is here. This is like a card of balance. This is a card of like not anybody totally having their way. No, it's like really just balancing the situation right now. It's patience. It's also a deeper understanding with temperance. That's why temperance takes a moderate middle path because they've gone through so much that they have a deeper understanding. And this is shared between you both. I feel like that's why both of you are able to fight even though you're tired. It's just both of you have a deeper understanding of what's happening. Again, literally, you could just have a lot of responsibilities and some of it could just feel heavy and burdensome and it just could be taxing on your energy um, and this is like you know all of these messages come through but either way temperance is such a beautiful patient energy taking a middle path having a deeper understanding here beautiful all right how they see you we got the queen of pentacles you are the queen of pentacles in january tell us more for how they're seeing you like, even if you guys have a lot of responsibilities, they know that you're carrying your weight. You're doing more than your share with that Queen of Pentacles. You know, um, this is a person who juggles a lot. What I love about the Queen of Pentacles, Gemini 2, is even though they take care of all the people around them, they also know the importance of self-love and self-care. And so they always carve out time to also give themselves that same care and that same love. All right, tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles for how they see you. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's fun, right, this month. But I feel like both of you, you're like, okay, it's just this month. And I'm not saying it's going to stop in February. But you both have a deeper understanding of what's happening. It's like you're not just looking at the surface of your relationship, which I love. All right, let's pull it a couple more. And we're going to take both of you, of course. All right, we got the two of wands on the hangman here. All right. They can see you wanting to change direction here with the two of wands. They can see you taking your power back. And it could be through self-love and self-care, you know. The hangman is here too. This is you. Maybe, you know, maybe you're making sacrifices, right? I feel like that's what's coming through with the hangman in this position for you guys. I just feel like they see you as making sacrifices. They recognize it, you know, which is really beautiful. Um, even I said... Um, the action that you would like to take towards them with that Eight of Pentacles, this is a card of sacrifice too. That's where you make, um, you sacrifice like short term. Like you won't hang out with people because you're putting in the work because you're trying to build something real. That's a sacrifice, right? You know, sacrifices come in many forms, but they can just see that, you know, with the hangman. And, and even they can see you like just having a deeper understanding. That's what the hangman represents too. But I just feel like they know that you make sacrifices for the people you love with the Queen of Pentacles. But the Two of Wands is like, 
This is you getting your power back too with that two of wands. What I love about the two of wands is of course it's direction change, right? They could see you making plans right now to move directions, to change it. Um, maybe to step out of your comfort zone here. You know, all of these energies come through, but really beautiful with the way they are viewing you and seeing you. How they're feeling, we got the four of cups. Four of cups, let's clarify. It's just, you know, not motivated, not excited. But again, you know, with so many burdens, it's hard to be. With so much on your plate for some of you, it can be hard to be. All right, tell me more about the four of cups with how they're feeling about you. Okay, okay. Five of pentacles. You know, maybe they could feel a little rejected this month with that five of pentacles. Um, that's temporary though. It's very temporary. You know, like maybe you can't show all the love that you would normally show because again, there's too much right now that you're dealing with. Both of you. Okay, let's take it. Ace of pentacles, three of cups. Yeah. Ace of pentacles, three of cups. I mean, they, they feel like, you know, they're ready to like create something new here with you with the ace of pentacles is there's promise there's potential you know there's possibility here um it's excitement it's it's not like this war of cups not at all so there's like you know it's i feel like they're just it's a lot of emotions in them right like it's like they want to have the fun again that's what the three of cups is it's a card of celebration so it's like it's like they just want to bring in the fun. Again, I just feel like it could have been taxing on the fun and passion this month. And they're feeling like, hey, I want to create the fun again. That's what it's feeling like. Maybe sometimes they feel rejected. It's temporary. I don't feel that heavy whatsoever. But it's like, yeah, I feel like they just want to bring the fun back into this. That's how they're feeling. And then the action that they would like to take towards you. Boom, Knight of Pentacles. Very committed, very dedicated. Showing up and doing the work. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. For what action they would like to take towards you. All right. Four of Cups again. Knight of Wands. Yeah, and you know what I love is they're making progress away from this Four of Cups. Because the way the cards land is very important. So as you can see, the Knight is not facing these Four of Cups. And so they're ready to move out of that energy with that Knight of Pentacles. And even though it's slow. They also have this Knight of Wands energy, which is a card. It's like they both are committed and dedicated and they want to build things that are built to last with that Knight of Pentacles. They also have the Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands is like, it's like a free spirited energy. It's a very adventurous and fun energy. It's very flexible. It's like the opposite of the Knight of Pentacles. Like if you wanted to go out and have a good time and let loose, you call your Knight of Wands friends, right? These are the people who are always on adventure. They want to take action really fast, you know? Um, so it's just a very high energy card as well. I just feel like they want to bring the fun back into it. This is really what it feels like, while at the same time showing up in a very committed way. So it's really great energy, really great energy. Yeah, I just see them wanting to bring the celebration back in and the fun back in. And they know you're making sacrifices. All right, the way you're seeing them, the emperor, sturdy, not showing any emotions. Let's see, you know, trying to keep the structure in place. All right, tell me more about the emperor having rules and discipline. Maybe they're in Aries, Gemini, you know, for some of you. All right, tell me more about the emperor for how you see them. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Yeah, we got the Five of Swords here and Judgment. Five of Swords and Judgment. You know, with the Five of Swords, of course it's a combative energy, right? But it's also an energy of like, you ready to fight for what's important to you, fight for what you believe in, fight for what matters, right? It's got that fighting energy. So it's not always just combative, you know, um, though it can be as well. So always just take what resonates. And maybe they see that you have a decision that you need to make for some of you here, and you could be conflicted, you know, and you're wanting to conquer that inner conflict, right? They can see that as well. It's, of course, a few messages come through. So yeah, it's like wanting to conquer the inner conflict. The conflict within themselves is what you're seeing. They have a judgment call they need to make probably about themselves. You know, judgment is really about rising from the ashes, saying to yourself in a very honest way, 
have I been the best version of myself? Have I been the highest version of myself? Because if I haven't been, then it's not serving my highest good, and it's not serving the highest good of both of us here. And you could see them kind of making that judgment call, maybe rising from the ashes within themselves, right? But ready to fight, basically, ready to conquer something here. And then, you know, with the emperor, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of respect for them as well. Um, let me say that. Even if things feel heavy this month, there's a lot of respect there as well. How are you feeling? We have the high priestess. So this is you going within, using your intuition when it comes to the situation. So tell me more about the high priestess. Okay, the fool wanted to come out. King of Cups, yeah, there's a lot of intuition here. Definitely a lot of intuition. Um, King of Cups, I mean, you love them. You love them deeply, for sure, with that King of Cups. And you're also like, if things are not been cool, you're definitely having emotional strength here, Gemini. If things have been choppy, you are calm, cool, and collected. And it's not just a front. You've mastered your emotions here. It's not just a front. All right, tell me. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, six of wands. You're wanting to overcome whatever this energy is. That's how you're feeling. Some of you could feel very proud of them as well with the six of wands. You know, it's a very victorious proud energy um, as well, but it's, it's an energy of overcoming, right? We have an energy of conquering, an energy of overcoming, but you guys are both still fighting this month. I really think things are looking really good, honestly. The action you'd like to take towards on, eight of pentacles. Very committed, very dedicated, even, even more like short-term sacrifices. Really great. Tell me more about the fool wanted to come out again. Okay. Let's see. What is that? Ace of Wands, passionate reboot, boom. You go from the 10 to the Ace. There's literal progress here. Even we have the Six of, the six of Swords coming towards you. There's progress, there's movement here. You guys will get out of this energy. Ace of Wands, let me give it a few more shuffles. Let's get one more card for what action you would like to take towards them. Yeah, you're ready to put in the work to bring the fun and passion back. And I mean, I feel like that's what they want, that's what you want. Um, and both of you have a deeper understanding. You both do. All right. Let's do two more. No. And we're going to stop here. The world. Whoo. The world. You're like, all right, let's close out this chapter here with the world. I love it. You're ready to put in the work here, though. I feel like you're, you're ready for a reboot here, basically. That's the action. And, and you're, you're, you're ready to show up and do all the work that's needed here. Work on all the little details because you've got a deeper understanding now. So it's again, I don't feel like you guys are looking at the surface. I just feel like we're looking deeper now. And the Ace of Wands is boom. This is a passionate reboot. This is hitting restart, reducing the situation, bringing that spark and the fire back in. That's the action that you're wanting to take. And you're, you're ready to put in the work to do that. Coming towards you both, we have the Six of Swords, a state of transition, definitely moving on to calmer waters. All right, tell me more about the Six of Swords coming towards you both. Six of Swords. All right, let's give us two more. We're going to stop here to clarify the Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands. All right. So Seven of Pentacles. And you're transitioning from this. This was kind of taking a good look at everything, not being satisfied, kind of frustrated with slow results, right? And you guys are totally both transitioning from that energy, from that frustrated with slow results, from things not moving, things not going after you've put in all this time and this energy and you've invested so much, you're transitioning. And with what? The King of Wands. This is like, boom, inspired action. This is being visionary. This is definitely stepping out of your comfort zone. Definitely. It's just, it's such a beautiful energy, the King of Wands. Like, this is moving in a new direction, thinking outside of the box as well. This is a card of real passion, real fire coming back with the King of Wands. And this is taking action as well. So I feel like you definitely, you guys are moving into this place where the passion is coming back through. It won't happen overnight, not at all, but you're in this state of transition, absolutely. And you're moving away from that frustrated with slow results into a place of passion. 
And for some of you, that might be stepping out of your comfort zone, but it feels very positive. It feels very exciting. Again, that fool kept wanting to come out. So it's kind of what I'm feeling with this. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you, Gemini. I really do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies. And I'll see you all next week for my regular weekly tarot readings.